So we've got an active couple of days on the way. Now, so far this morning, it has been just showers for the most part. We've had some isolated thunder showers thrown in the mix. And if you look at the Max Track Live Doppler, it is still lit up. We've got a line of showers extending down south around uh, northern parts of uh, Jessamine County there, dropping down north of High Bridge and in towards Harrodsburg. And they're all over the place. You've got another batch of showers north and west past Frank Frankfurt and out on the western edge of the viewing area, a few more in eastern Kentucky. The map in motion shows the progression of the showers this morning, and you'll notice a quick warning or two down south. Yeah, we did have briefly a severe thunderstorm warning. Now, this is way on the southwestern uh, edge of the viewing area. Right here is Jamestown, and uh, right underneath the banner is Adair County. So damage reported in Tompkinsville. They initially had a severe thunderstorm warning out and popped it to a tornado warning. This was between about 9 and 10 a.m., and then it eventually ran up and just uh, kind of ran out of steam as it got into the southwestern side of our viewing area. So those damage reports you heard Chris and uh, Dia talking about potential tornado. There were signs of rotation within that cell. And uh, right there you go. The uh, one report that came out uh, around Tompkinsville, uh, trees down, some power lines down and some structural damage as well. We are in uh, this active phase because we've got uh, a slow moving system, a cold front that will approach, but we've got the warm front lifting in today. So it's going to extend the possibility of showers and storms. Look at the enhanced risk for severe storms. Cuts off literally right on the western edge of our viewing area. We are under a slight to marginal risk today. And it's not so much what's going on now. It's what's going to develop later on this evening, overnight and into tomorrow. Tuesday, we flip it. Marginal northwest, a slight risk here because everything's going to be translating east. And if you look at the LAX 18 storm tracker future track, the showers and storms that are hanging around right now, those are likely going to diminish. So I think a lot of the mid to late afternoon could be fairly quiet, but it's going to give us breaks in the clouds. It's going to allow us to build some instability. And then we'll see showers and storms firing, and it could come in multiple waves. The future track's been pretty uh, bullish on getting one going across our southern counties early on. That blows through, and then by mid-morning, another round hitting right through central Kentucky, the bluegrass, even as far north as Flemingsburg, we're showing it there. That pushes east, and then we could have one final round, possibly a weaker one, but still may pack a little bit of a punch as the actual cold front goes through. More broken storms as you get into a Tuesday evening. So yeah, multiple waves. It's going to be a long day for us as far as these ongoing rounds of storms, and then things do clear out by Wednesday. And this shows the potential for hail, though, and if you watch the future track as we take you out, you know, there's little blips from the stuff that's firing now, but look at this. Uh, by early tomorrow morning, where you see the pink, that means possible hail, and then you go over to that darker gray, likely hail, and look how it darkens across that line of storms that I just showed you down south. And then eventually, that second wave hits and then that's through and then you've got a little more in a, a much lower hail potential into tomorrow evening. So large hail, damaging wind gusts, the possibility of torrential rainfall. We've already had anywhere between about a quarter to a half an inch. Look at uh, Liberty down in Casey County, eight tenths of an inch of rain. You get additional rounds of heavy rain coming through. We could see some localized flash flood concerns. Watch how the numbers ramp up as that batch comes through southern Kentucky. So we could be talking about throwing another few inches on top of some folks that are already soaked. So we've got multiple issues that we're going to have to track, especially through the morning and uh, the rest of the day tomorrow. It's dreary out there. It's in the 60s. These showers and thunder showers, as they diminish, though, I still think we'll see the clouds clearing out a bit. So we should easily jump into the 70s. It's 70 in Danville already. Uh, and we should get into the mid 70s tonight, overnight, tomorrow morning. That's where we could get these waves coming through these lines of strong to severe storms. Things don't simmer down until we get that cold front through tomorrow night and then we cool down. Now on the back end of all of this, uh, temperatures take a hit 50s and 60s later this week and maybe not into frost potential. But yeah, that is a low down around 40 early Saturday morning.